Paul, 2-0 uh, win against Wind and Town, back to back wins, thoughts on the game? Absolutely brilliant, really from the start we got into Swindon's play, the game play really played for Doncaster Rovers today and I thought uh, with the Lua coming back at the back with Tom Anderson and Nelson there at the back, I thought we were outstanding and even before Molyneux had scored the two goals I think he was man of the match, he had probably his best game for them, yeah he, missed, he lost the ball a couple of times but the thing what I loved about all the players today is they won the second ball as well, they went back in we lost the ball, the challenge back again and uh, won the ball back and uh, it was a great really team effort and uh, I say really from the back from Mitchell and if you notice as well we didn't play back to the goalkeeper which uh, the fans have been asking for ages because that is really, even Pep Guardiola yeah. well, can't do it properly and everyone wants to play like that and 90% of the teams can't do it and they give the ball away so easy but today uh, Mitchell's distribution from the back was absolutely brilliant and uh, I say, all round team effort. George Miller up front worked his socks off without much support up, up there. Yeah. And when the subs came on, uh, they all played re all played the part. And uh, I say it was good that uh, Molyneux did that. I mean, when he was at Hartley Ball, he, he hardly scored, and then he went on a goal scoring spree and scored two today. And you could see what it meant to him to get that sort of yeah. um, off, off his sh shoulder something and scoring the two goals. And all his teammates went to congratulate him. Um, yeah. Great support down there from the 293 Doncaster fans. Really enjoyed it. Uh, hope the players got back because they're, uh, they're all the oil came out of the uh, ste <laughs> ste steering system on the bus, so they were stuck down there. So, so, <laughs> but no, a great victory. If we can carry that on to uh, Barrow on Tuesday night and then down to Sutton next Saturday and play like that, play the fans like and playing like that. And yeah. I think he got the system right today. Um, they chased for the ball. They well, like the rabbits and the, the ankles of the uh, um, Swindon players and Swindon never got into it. And you look at it, the experience they've got there with Williams there and uh, Charlie Austin up there. Uh, they've had a look in. Uh, I'm going to give Rovers fans great, I think. Absolutely. Williams got injured for uh, Swindon and he looked really serious when Tommy Rowe ran over, get, got the doctor on straight away. And as he came off, the Rovers fans stood and applauded him, which was brilliant. And uh, um, it was a, it was a great day. I just wish we could play like that every time and stop playing playing from the back because it's too many teams get caught out on it. It's not yeah. good enough. And uh, as I say, Mitchell's distribution was much better. Um, Anderson, Luwu, and um, Nelson out at the back. Let's say with Maxwell and that pushing up on, on, on the side was absolutely brilliant. And, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, as you say, uh, Barrow on Tuesday, and then we go away to Sutton at the weekend. We've also got Bradford coming up, Stockport coming up. These are, you know, they're two teams already, Bradford and Stockport, that are in and around where we are. How important is it to get this run going now and make it game after game after game, win after win, to give ourselves a realistic playoff push now? Well, get, getting the points on the board gives players confidence, and uh, say as long as he doesn't, if you keep to try to keep that system he's had today. Um, we can only sort of move on from it. I thought it was really, really good. Um, Barrow, I think they've only won one game in 17 now it is, and they were lucky. But they don't do too, too bad on the, the road at the moment. I mean, they were winning at Colchester till the last minute, and they could have got a draw uh, today. Uh, a bit of a hard game. They gave us a right lesson up down up to Holker Street up there. Yeah. They really outplayed us. Uh, the a strong physical. Well, physical and fit side, so it'll, it'll, it will prove hard on Tuesday night. But uh, yeah, I think it'll, we'll get the three points and move on to Sutton. They're not on the best of runs at the moment. Um, and to be honest, we've got to say we've really done well to be in the playoff zone. Um, just just think, explain we'll, how tight we'll, we'll, the league is. Yeah. Just explain how tight League Two is. That oh, it is. I mean, one one win and you could be up into sort of fifth, sixth place. Sort of yeah. And, uh, if we can get got to them two games this week. Um, it's going to be very, very difficult. We've got uh, a hard running, really, because we'll say we've got Stockport, Bradford, um, Salford away. They're not easy to, to come against them. Um, yeah. If we can just keep the momentum, keep the wins, keep the confidence, keep away from injuries and sendings off and everything like that, and uh, um, you never know where we're going to finish until uh, come May.